Well, welcome to my studio. Today I am painting a hummingbird in this session and I've already completed the one over here so now we're going to work on this little fella. I just absolutely love hummingbirds. My goodness, when they come and come in our garden, it's like, it's just magical. A little, I usually hear them before I see them. I hear their little hum and their squeaks. and Just, they're delightful little birds. Their antics are just so fun to watch. And particularly if you have a couple of them, they usually fight over the feeders. I have two hummingbird feeders and there's usually one that's very dominant and he will just take control. I paint his head first with Viridian Green. And I'm going to also on his back put a little bit of Viridian Green. Those iridescent feathers, the Viridian Green is really just a great color to use for that. And I'm also using then a, a deeper green of ultramarine blue plus some cadmium yellow medium just to kind of give some darkness to his head where it turns, turns around. And the boot is still wet. The yellow in the boot is still wet so if I need to make any adjustments on his head that's very easy to do. Different brush here. Okay. Now his belly is white, and this is my mixture of this is a little bit of mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue. And I always say ultramarine blue, it's actually French ultramarine blue, but I I think I'm not positive on this, but I think there's only one ultramarine blue. I'm sure all of you out there will correct me if I'm wrong, but um, anyway, I use French ultramarine blue. So my mud is two parts of the French ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. And I just mix that into the white to make kind of a gray. It's just the shadow of his little belly here. Now the red, he's a ruby, ruby throat hummingbird. So I'm going to bring that red over. Probably shouldn't have painted the green first because that kind of dulls that, but that's that's no problem. Because I'm going to come back with some opaque paint and we'll well. I just messed that up. Let me just do this. Oil paint is really wonderful. What I can do, I'm taking a clean brush with thinner in it, just a little bit of thinner, and I can just lift that color off of the canvas. I didn't mean to paint that green all the way down. Green is the complementary color of red, and so by when mixing the two together, or like painting the red over the green, it then makes a, a gray or a brown in that instance. But I can just lift that color off of the canvas. Now you'll see a difference when I paint that red in there. Let me do my boot color here. And I save my paint after I paint an area because then I can come back if I need to. Now, let's do that alizarin crimson, and this is my alizarin crimson plus a little bit of liquid. See, that's what I want. It's that nice, bright, little more iridescent red. Now, the hummingbird's eye is right here. And then we're going to take that down to his 
He has almost a line from his eye to his beak. And he's, he's just looking at these two over here. He's not going to be coming to any flowers. Oops, made his beak too long. Again, that's very easy. I have my paint from my boot. I can just shorten that. Little beak, I think it probably needs to be just a tiny bit shorter. There we go. So there's my hummingbird's beak, and he's going to be a little bit thicker, thicker back here. I'm bracing my hand on the mall stick. This is, I've shown you this in other of my videos. It is a, has a hook. It just hooks over the top of my easel. And this allows me to, I can just brace my hand against it and that makes it very easy to do the detail. Now I'm coming in with some cadmium red light onto his neck where the sun's hitting it. The sun's coming in from the upper right. So his neck's going to be and this red continues on around. My little sissy's not I can't figure out what she wants this morning. She's just wandering around and I tried petting her and that didn't do it. I tried feeding her, that didn't do it, so Sometimes they just want something that I'm not exactly sure what it is they want. Yeah. Maybe she wants to go try to paint with me. Then I just give little brush strokes here because I want to give the feel of those little iridescent feathers on the top of his head. Now his wings are I'm using just a little mixture of my mud plus liquid. And I just pull his wings into that, into my yellow of my boot. And actually I'm going to bring my yellow down a little bit further. Now I can use a little different brush. Now that's his back wing. Didn't get that quite the right shape, but this is a clean brush and I can pull Pull my yellow. There we go. Just get soften that wing because that's that's the one that's behind. And then the one in the foreground has a little bit darker here. And then he comes here, he's got a little bit of a, almost a sienna. This is some of the mixture from my floor, left over from my floor, the terracotta tile. And this this wing's a little foreshortened. It's coming more at us. Their wings are so delicate and they just make the most beautiful little hum. I've added a little bit of white into that because as the wing comes down, the sun catches it. Now I'm going to have a little, this is thalo blue plus white. Comes in on his tail. And now some of that darker green mixture is going to be here on his wing. And then I'm coming in with a little bit of my mud. Down here it gets a little bit darker. 
It's almost too dark. I, this, I just wipe my brush and put it in the thinner. I'm just going to pull a little bit of this dark off of here. And that gives me the striations in his, in his wing. And these come down. Now, he's, the sun is hitting his chest, so we just get a nice white highlight here on his, on his tummy, his chest and his tummy. And then the hummingbird, the ruby throat, has a little bit of green here under their wing side. And I'm using, again, I'm using this more muted green. And the, the color doesn't, it doesn't make a, just a straight demarcation. It's, there's just the little feathers kind of, they feather in, the color feathers in because of all those little bitty feathers. One time we had a hummingbird run into our window and he was stunned and he just was on the ground and so I picked him up and they're just the tiniest most delicate little things just it was amazing and he woke up and flew away flew right out of my hand but they're a beautiful little bird now his tail feathers I'm using ultra, my mud mixture plus a little bit of liquid. And I'm going to now pull some of my boot color into his, the edges of him because I don't want it, I want the edges to be just a little soft. His tail will kind of give the feeling of just just want some softness in here. And the white goes down under there underneath their back tail feathers. I'm just going to let this get a little bit darker back here. I want it there, but not just totally. Want that I don't want that to jump out. Now we're going to put his little bitty feet in there. Again, this is a mixture of my mud plus liquid. Just bring a little bit of my white plus ultramarine blue here to round this tummy out. Bring a little more light onto his throat. Just make a little more highlight here. This will get darker as it goes around here in the shadow. Now I want to 
want a more of a highlight over his eye. So this is my Viridian Green plus a little bit of white. bit of red up under his his beak here. And then the white that goes back behind his neck. This needs to be in shadow here. So that's a little bit darker. And then the ruby throat has also got some little dark down its back. Then this is my phthalo blue plus white. Just give him a little iridescence along his back there. It's in shadow, but I want it to still have some iridescence. black on his feather here, his tail feather actually will come up here because these these come around. I need the back of his head needs to be out just a little bit more. Just give him a little more thickness on his head here. That looks better. And he needs to come down just above his beak or above his nose. There we go. And there we go. There's our little hummingbird. Oh, one thing I forgot to do. Let me do this real quick. So he gets a highlight on the front edge of their wing. They just the light catches that. There's just a little iridescence, and this will separate those two wings from each other. You can see it on this other one. And let's see. It comes. There. Let me get it just a little bit more. There we go. going to just bring a little bit of that iridescence here. There we go. There is our hummingbird. I appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Also visit my blog. You'll see the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting as well as others that I do. The link is in the description below. 